The all pervasive corruption around us in Hututu and how it uh, looks at it. This what was been troubling me for some time was this. Yes, this theme of corruption has been troubling me with my every day's living for a number of years because it was always on the increase from the point that we started. It, it has been on, in the, on, on the increase continuously over the, over the decades, I should say. We did have some some scams earlier, and then after five ten years, another one appeared or like that. But it has become so frequent now. If somebody change, tells me to change uh, the name of one scam, I tell them no problem because there are many. I can choose any other and give me. A, I can fit in any other because that seems to have become a um, system. That seems to have become a regular way of uh, administration. With the result, it had to start bothering any anybody who is um, trying to live a uh, decent and a straight life, who doesn't want botheration, who doesn't want to get into. So, another important point in this was that the this generation, this present generation, the youngsters, the young people, they have been brought up in this. We. We do look at the values and the morals and keep on telling the youth, but come to think of it, it's, it's not their fault, because this is what we have handed over to them. It has come from my and my previous generation that this it has come down, which we are handing over to them today. I feel guilty, I feel ashamed, I feel responsible for whatever uh, the country we are handing over to them. I wish we could, uh, the, the country, the, my, what we received, we should have bettered it and given it to them. Instead, it's much more corrupt. I think it makes relevant. Uh, this is a film that is, uh, you know, will be discussed in intellectual circles. In fact, I feel that, you know, somebody might even write a book on it. So, what do you think? More than intellectuals, I don't know whether they'll find it worth it or not. I'm, I've not approached it like an intellectual or anything. I've, I've reacted like a common man. A common man how would react to its environment. But I wish the common man discusses it more than intellectuals. I wish the common man uh, really those who are aware and those who can reach, or to whom I, if I have succeeded in reaching, if they can react to it and discuss it more than intellectual interpretation, or more than, then it will be nice if they can share it and make it, explain it further for those people for whose benefit I have tried to make the film. Why did you decide to base the film in Maharashtra? You get this local flavor of Maharashtra mm. politics. Uh, that's just now happening. I could have placed it anywhere to, because to give it an all India feel because the theme remains an all India theme. Uh, but as cultural ethos of a place which would matter in making a film and more cinematic. Since I know Maharashtra so well and I have lived here for so long, it was easier for me to place it here than to place any other. For example, if I had placed anywhere in the central um, part of the country, it would have looked like any other Hindi film that we have been making. And on, I couldn't identify it as much on the eastern side where the, these uh, characters could have been, could have read there. South also, I was not with the eth cultural ethos, I am not so conversant as I am mm, aware of the, of this place where I have placed it. Because I have lived in Maharashtra for more than three, four decades now and looks like my own homeland. <laughs> Tabu's character in the film, mm. the girl who is so shy and introverted in real life, performing so well in a, in a powerful role in that. What do you think of Tabu? Mm. Tabu, I have said it earlier also, and I have said it earlier in one of your own programs that 
this is the girl, the actress of this period, of this era. And I'm very, very confident about it. I'm more confident now. I said it at the time of marches. I remember when I saw the potential of this artist. Um, as I quoted earlier, there have been great actresses. I have worked with many. And I find this girl, Tabu, as a, I can name it, a great actress. It's not easy to attach the word great with anybody. But I don't hesitate while doing that with her. Did her performance in Hotu to amaze you? The, I mean, the character itself had uh, lots of potential, but the way she is performed. I'm sorry. No, it didn't. Uh, it does amaze me. Yes, I I think that's the right word probably, but it, is, it didn't surprise me. I expected it from her. That's what I mean. It's uh, it amazed me because it satisfied me also, and uh, and yet I feel amazed. How does she do it? How conveniently to get under the skin of the character and the way she works on her scenes, the way she works on her character. The details which she makes notes in her script, because there's a full script with all my artists. I give it to them before I start the film. And uh, it was very nice, amazing to see that. Even in this theme of corruption, which could have been a you know, depressing theme, mm. you have injected humor, you know, was that deliberate, mm. that it pops up at, you know, mm. odd moments like the... Uh, the politician is dead and his wife is being told to take over. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see it around, you know, you can identify with it. I have tried to narrate this this subject, this story, this film, uh, following the style of a great man called Mr. R. K. Lakshman. It's very generous of him that he agreed to give me those sketches and to make those sketches for the titles of the film. Because somewhere his presence I do feel as, as a, when I try to narrate this subject. I have tried to keep that humor which he does with such serious sober um, subjects which he mentions every day, which he says it every day in Times of India. Well, you can see how he keeps the humor. I think that's a great, great way of saying it. Nana Patikar, in a sense, is uh, like a beacon of hope in the darkness. Mm. What do you think of uh, his character? And was it inspired by someone? Mm, I would say, I would mention two more artists in this. One is Sunil Shetty, which I think Sunil Shetty might surprise some people because I once again saw the potential in that man. I think he's, he's a very potential actor. All that he needs is a good script. Given a good script or a good character, Sunil can certainly reach it. Then Nana is a performer, one knows everybody. I mean, there are no two opinions about it, or no two thoughts about it. He fit the, the role, I think, uh, because of his physical presence, secondly, because his, of his theatre knowledge. He has come from that background and understands theatre, and particularly for the street corner theatre which he does. Inspiration in the sense that uh, Mr. Gadar, for example, Safdar Hashmi, for example. So, inspiration one can draw from there. So in, to form this character. But uh, another man along with it whom I would like to mention is Bhushan Lakhandri, the uh, choreographer of the film. He didn't do it the film style. He didn't do it um, song for song's sake. Or so. He could give that feel of a street corner theatre, which I think is very, very commendable. He gave me exactly that feeling which a street corner theatre is. I mean, to make uh, songs or to choreograph songs on these subjects that you will see in the film is not everybody's cup of tea. Kundra uh, some do strong uh, women characters, say like what, something like what Suhasini Mure has uh, mm. portrayed, or you know, a career woman, career-driven mm. woman. 
do you find them fascinating? <laughs> well, Suhasini Mule, whom now we affectionately, all of us call her Suhas, she, she has given a wonderful performance. And to do that, with this gap of about 20 years, I think 20 years earlier she had performed in uh, Minalda's film, Bhuvan Shom. And to come back and do this sort of a performance, I think it's, it's her, uh, her own capability. And I didn't know she will do it with that polish and with that... Uh, I don't know how to put the word in English. But okay. She has given the performance. And she just held the character and walked away with it. And, uh, it is a fascinating character. She didn't. She never thought of it. Ke negative or positive or care. But uh, when she decided to come back and do this for me, uh, well, she decided and she did it. I don't know whether she would like to act again in the film or not. But I wish she does. My question to you was: Do you find that uh, you know these kind of characters fascinating? <laughs> Career-driven women, or women in power. Yeah. They aren't a fascinating study. These, these kind of characters are fascinating study. And uh, not only for women, even men. I think the character played by Mohan Agashe, I think is a very fascinating character again. Mohan Agashe has, is, uh, I at times feel that he hasn't lived the character, he has just been placed there. And he did that. So you can see that. And that again is a very fascinating character. So, such characters are, are a fascinating study, I should say. One would like to know more of them. One would like to peel more and go more into the depth. Gumna uh, your daughter too has worked with you on the film. Mm. What was her contribution? Has she contributed to Tabu's characters? No, she has worked. She was the one who rather coaxed me to pick up this short story to make this film. She was the one who made that choice to start with. And to inspire me, she worked out the basic uh, first basis and put it in front of me so that I decide on it. And that was a very big contribution. Then she, of course, worked with me on the screenplay all along. Then in the post-production, she has worked. Because she's she's regular um, uh, technician in direction. She's the chief assistant with Mr. Saeed Mirza. So it's not something um, out of her. <laughs> it's, she's an uh, accomplished technician in the films already, and for a number of years. Um, one more aspect of the film which I think you would like to know about is uh, Vishal. Yes, true. The music director. Yes, I missed because it's, this it's, it's wonderful working with him. It's really wonderful working with him. His hard work and his research, for example, he's not from Maharashtra, he's from North. But to give the flavor of Maharashtra, I mean, the amount of study and the research and the listening which he did, I think he has brought the uh, flavor of the Maharashtra folk in it, which is another accomplishment I would like to <laughs> compliment him for that. Sir, what was the short story that you were saying? It's one of my unpublished short story from which this was subject was picked up. What do you find more interesting in the film? The, the larger scene of the you know, corruption happening and society and all that? Or this family story of Tabu and her parents? And no, it's, it's you find a small medium with medium of characters, I mean, where you can identify. And then through those characters, you start reflecting the society, which becomes easier and which is more easy to identify with than to give a larger landscape without identification of characters, because that's, that, that's a medium of film. It's easier if you can identify with the characters. I personally like the form of a short story more than a novel. I love working on a short story when I'm making a film. Most of them are taken from short stories. Uh, 